want to hear the voice of God? Surely you do. That's why we are going to make a study of the divine science. This will be the first of many chapters that will teach us to know God more deeply and to enter into spiritual intimacy with Him. The spiritual life offers us beautiful rewards, such as hearing the voice of God, having visions and many other gifts of the Holy Spirit. Apart from this, it assures us of salvation. Why can't all people have these spiritual gifts? How can we obtain them? How can we learn a little of this divine science? God is great. His voice is omnipotent and omnipresent. By His holy word, heaven and earth were created and also everything that exists. God is also that inner voice of conscience that confirms when something is right or wrong in His presence. God speaks to all human beings, indeed. If God did not speak to us, we would be like brute animals, without a soul. The reason is that man has been created as a creature, endowed with four very distinct parts that remain united and are difficult to separate. The material body has a mind, an abstract part that in our opinion is the one that directs everything, and we have access to that control, although the mind can also work subconsciously. But beyond the body and the mind is the soul, which is a spiritual body, the divine breath that God has given to the human being to be made in his image and likeness. The soul being a spiritual body is eternal, that is, it never dies. In fact, the soul is what gives life to the body. When the soul leaves the body, comes the death of the body. The soul is still alive, but must face the judgment of God to obtain eternal reward or condemnation. Hebrews 9, verse 27 The spiritual body of the soul in turn is directed by a higher part, small divine spark, which is the spirit. The soul also has a kind of mind that does a similar process. It is guided by the spirit. Hence, the spirit communicates to the soul and the soul in turn communicates to the mind through memory, understanding and will. For this reason, the human being can be a rational person because he participates in the spirit of God, which is manifested in the conscience. And just as the body suffers blows, illnesses, and death, so also the soul registers all the good and bad things that man does, which, when they are governed by the will of God, will fill him with light and grace. But when they are seen, the soul is filled with sores and darkness. That is why it is so important, in order to obtain spiritual gifts, to live in the Spirit of God not in the spirit of the world. We must be aware that we are not only flesh and mind, which are reduced to clay, but that we are children of God, with a soul that can participate in His gifts from now on and for all eternity. Well, now then, understanding a little of our spiritual reality, we have to begin by knowing ourselves in order to begin to know God. We start with the meditation of Who am I? Who is God? Because it is such a deep subject, we must do it in the silence of our being. For this, we must stop all activities. If possible, close our eyes. Do not allow thoughts outside these two questions. Who am I? Who is God? Repeat these questions many times. Open your heart so that the Spirit reveals these fundamental teachings. The answers of our meditation will lead us to the recognition of the greatness of God and the smallness of our being. Our spiritual life begins on the platform of humility, on which we must always stand 
When we wish to listen to the voice of God, let us examine this passage from the Gospel, John 9, verse 31. We know that God does not listen to sinners, but if one is pious and does his will, he listens to him. So the first condition to be able to listen to God is to be on the platform of humility, to turn away from sin, that is, to repent and to do his will. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3 God's will is that they be sanctified, that they turn away from sexual immorality. In other words, God wants us to be very holy as He is holy. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 16 Let us concentrate then on these basic teachings, which we will then expand on and lead us into the area of inner silence, which we will discuss in the next chapter to learn how to silence ourselves so we can listen to the voice of God. If you like this video, please give us a like, share it on social networks, leave your comments, make it viral. It is very important. We all must learn to listen to God's voice. What do you think? God bless you.